hello, good morrow, salutations, what the f is up? As it sometimes happens, this is not my original video idea for this week. <laughs> Due to supplies I need not coming in on time, I had to do a little. And I was a little bit at a loss until I was getting dressed this morning. <laughs> I want to make a dress that allows me to blend in with my wallpaper and cease to exist. Is this hearkening back to my high school days when I thought that I was intellectually superior because I enjoyed the film Garden State? Although to this day, if Nick and I want to leave somewhere, I'll give him the ol'. The wallpaper in question. This wallpaper, which when we were touring this house was pretty much the room that made me say, yes, I would very much like to have it. Express my admiration for this wallpaper in the form of wearing it on my body. It also has the added bonus of being brown, which I hope you're proud of me. I've gone pr a pretty long time on this channel without making anything that's brown, so. It is this kind of beigey brown base, flowers and vines and leaves, and I can't help but to think this feels very Willy Wonka. <laughs> the snozberries taste like snozberries. I think I'm ready. My outfit today felt very Mr. Darcy with the addition of a back brace. Hello, I'm in my 30s now. My body is disintegrating. First things first, let's choose a fabric out of my fabric stash. A little tricky, because I feel like this dress has to be paintable. Much like you, dear viewer, I don't actually know what that means. Even a lot of the tablecloths and curtains I have, a very loose kind of thread count, pretty rigid and bumpy. So I don't think that would lend itself well to acting as sort of a canvas for this. I think something smooth and tightly wound, which currently also doubles as describing my brain. The front of this I do want to paint, but I think the back I'm just gonna leave plain for now anyways. This one. I, I don't even know how I would describe this. Maybe a wool? I got it at the thrift store for $5.49. Pretty thick, which I think is what I need for this as well because I need to be able to paint and I don't want the paint to seep through to the other side. I think it won't look too atrocious from behind, which is all we can ever hope for. I think there's enough of it to make the dress that I want to make. To keep this to a smaller surface level, I'm gonna go with this cutie little 60s dress, which if you haven't sewn anything and you've been wanting to, I highly, highly recommend doing something like this because it's literally four pieces. <laughs> Groovy, baby, yeah. As far as how I'm going to complete this, I don't actually know quite yet, but that's tomorrow Rachel's problem. Today, I'm going to focus on the actual construction of the dress and just have it kind of ready to be a canvas. Lest we ramble on unnecessarily, let's just get to work. <gasps> this pattern was really interesting because all of the pattern pieces were on their own individual sheets of paper, which was so handy. In an attempt to not wreck my back any further, for this week anyways, I'm putting aside my floor troll ways. Do this on a tabletop, like so many of you have probably shouted directly into the computer screen. One goes on the fold, this one. Gone ahead and shortened these by eight and a half inches, and I fold them up like that when I pin it. Feeling a little saucy. I'm gonna show a little kneecap, maybe some lower thigh. Look out. I must admit, this is a lot easier. <laughs> mm. Okay, here are all the pattern pieces. I got really lucky, apparently, with this amount of fabric. Any less, and I don't think I would have been able to do this dress. Now it's time to cut. Voila. <laughs> now I have to unpin everything, pin these sections of the dress together. Let's freaking do it. I can't be trusted. I literally just got this shirt. What is that? Oh. 
I popped over to my machine, which was propped up higher to promote better posture, and booted that baby up, which sounds like it has an urgent meeting with the Wizard of Oz to ask for a heart. Once it was fitting to my liking, I spent the rest of the day finishing it up and doing all the hems until I could finally call it quits. See you tomorrow. I have an idea. So I was stressing a little bit about how I'm going to get the exact pattern onto the dress so that I can paint it, but we fished this baby out of the basement, connect this to the laptop, with a photo of the wall, project that photo of the wall onto the wall, line it up, trace onto the dress the exact pattern that is missing. It could work. It could also crash and burn. Exciting stuff. I, I don't even know if this works or not. As far as the dress, it is just about done. I just haven't done the zipper. Too chic. Being a maximalist in every sense of the word, it just won't do. First things first, I need to take a photo of the wall. Uh, uh, sure, I, I, don't, I think that's probably fine. And we've got to see if this actually turns on. And if it doesn't, I'm going to be quite upset -y. Oh, oh birds. Then began the surprisingly tricky task of lining up the photo with the actual wall. Once I got it to a position I was pretty happy with, switched over to other equally important tasks. All right, so I got my dress form. Have to decide uh, what pattern we like. I mean, that's pretty cute. The combo of this projector and this laptop right now sounds like we are nestled cozily inside of a jet engine. I'm having fun. Like that, maybe? So now I just need to ooh, mark off and trace. On the edges, it's kind of stretched. It creates that illusion kind of like those sidewalk paintings. It feels a little beyond my skill level, but we can give it a shot. And you may be asking yourself, couldn't this have been more easily done by just sending out a picture of the wall and creating your own fabric? If I took the most practical route and saved myself hours of stress and lost brain cells, I wouldn't have a channel, so <laughs> woof. <laughs> I'll be honest, when I started this project, I didn't really think about the illusion part of it. I'm a wee bit nervous. <laughs> a bunch of textile medium. Uh, I am going to do the base and then we can go in with the details after that. Ready team? One, two, three, break. I won't lie to you partners, it took me about 57 years to get this paint mixed up for the base. Once I finally had a color that I was happy with, I poured some textile medium in, swapped it around a little, and this is the exact moment I realized that I should have done this part first. I should have done this part first. Well, as the great bards once prophesized, say lovey. I just kind of annoyingly went around all of my tracings and this color actually ended up drying down a bit too warm. So you guessed it, I ended up redoing it. Well, that took forever. It's looking pretty promising. I'm definitely glad that I redid the paint job because it was definitely too, too warm before. It's tricky because this wallpaper looks different every single time of the day, whether there's sun, no sun, a bit tricksies. The bottom is a little bit lighter because it needs to dry down. When it dries down, it 
darkens a tiny bit and I think that it matches. I'm calling it quits for today. Tomorrow we can start probably retracing some of these designs or at least using reference photos to refine it a little bit more because I did have to paint over a lot of the traced details because I'm a big dumb dummy. It's pretty exciting. I, I still have no idea if this is actually gonna work. Oh, we're just gonna give it a goo. See you tomorrow. We got a lot of work to do today. To solve the problem of the illusion, I realized I have the technology. I took that photo of the wall that I took, threw it in Photoshop using this photo as a reference to figure out where the distorted side actually started and then tried to stretch it out to match. I don't think it's exact, but that'll do, pig. I did those two sides and then the middle. Hopefully this gives me more of an idea. Go in and add those details again and then we can get to painting. Let me show you it so far. Da -da. I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm realizing this also has big Jenna Marbles turning herself into a couch vibes. Surprise, bitch, it's me, your wall. You ready? You know, some projects I feel like have a purpose. And this one has not made itself known to me quite yet. I haven't a good time, so. underestimated how much work this project is gonna be eh, couldn't be me in terms of color palette I don't think I'm gonna have to mix up too too many colors here it's green here which is pretty much the same green throughout these cool tones purples and blues and magenta beige -ish yellow and I think that's about it I think I just have to start chipping away at the different colors so I think first up I'm gonna do green because that seems to be the most prevalent of colors <laughs> <laughs> Tell me I got this. All right, well, let's mix up some color, baby. Much like the beige nightmare that was the base, the green took also 56 years to mix. Also, side note, beige nightmare is my, my band name. We exclusively only play psychedelic 60s folk rock. And we all wear sweater vests. Okay, back to painting. things are dawning on me as I'm continuing to work on this project. Number one being, I think I may have bit off more than I could chew when you're out at a restaurant and you take just a huge chomp of something and then there's that moment of panic when it's too big. Like you can't even shift the weight in your mouth, but you just kind of have to sit there like, is how I feel right now. For once since moving into this house, wish that we had a nice poke at that wallpaper. Second thing that's dawned on me is that this is so ugly. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're just doing our best, my friends. I'm trying to keep my posture up. Those of you with good, proper posture, I respect you so much. This is gonna take a, gonna take a million years. Ah! Time lapse time. I sit here putting the final details on everything. The gears in my brain started a turning. And of course, I think of very important ponderies, such as, you know how we all quote pop culture and movie quotes, some of us to about 30% accuracy? I wonder, back in the day, when a new book came out, people would quote it to their friends. Like when the new Jane Austen book came out and you and your besties had a little book club, got to reading it because there's literally nothing else that women were allowed to do. And do you think like when they finished it, they had little inside jokes of quoting it? You're both sitting at dinner and you look at each other and you say, what excellent boiled potatoes. And your besties like, I love this pot roast most ardently. 
Anywho, these are the things I think about when I'm deep, deep in the midst of painting an ugly dress. I'm finishing up the final details of this. I'll see you in the reveal. Are you tired of attending social gatherings and explaining what it is exactly you do? Tired of explaining to that one uncle that woke culture is not the problem, he's just a little racist. Well, I've got the perfect thing, you weird little introvert. Introducing the wallpaper dress. Your days of being perceived are over. With its patented chameleon technology and aggressively beige color scheme, you'll be able to disappear into that one very specific wall in your host's home. But don't just take our word for it. Let's test it out. Watch as you cease to exist simply by standing in one spot and one spot only. Just look at that confidence. Wow. Stuck in a conversation about Taylor Swift that you have absolutely nothing to add? Why don't you just slip away and wait for the first guest to leave so that you can follow without seeming rude? You'll have people wondering if you're just under the kitchen table talking to the dog again. And in no time you'll be saying, thanks wallpaper dress. Does not come in any other pattern or color and I repeat is very specifically only for this wall. I did not believe it actually worked. <laughs> I'm so happy. I can't stop laughing. It's so stupid. <laughs> you know, one of the more pointless projects I've ever done, but the joy that this just brought me, worth every single second. Way to go, way to go. Also, subjectively, away from the wall, I thought this was going to be the most atrocious dress ever, but it's actually pretty freaking cute. I feel like the print kind of works well with the time period. That kind of carpet print was kind of in for like the late 60s and 70s. And I thought maybe there would be a chance that I would just never wear this ever again. Being honest, I think I will wear this. And it's really comfy. The back of course is a little underwhelming, but oh, me high boots and a sassy hairdo that screams eccentric aunt. I'm definitely gonna wear this again. <laughs> to put it simply, I'm very happy with it. It's more impressive from far away, I think, when you get up close. The details aren't quite as sharp. No one's gonna be, you know, getting that close, so. You may view me from afar. As far as the illusion goes, the side is a little bit more stretched so that when you bring it towards the front, it just blends. Stretched, blend. <laughs> which I think is pretty freaking cool. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. For projects that I feel really overwhelmed and like there's no way that I could possibly do it and then it ends up exceeding my expectations, I feel like I have more affinity towards because you know, you thought that you couldn't do it and you did. Egg on my face. <sighs> That's it. I hope this was a fun video. I, I think it'll probably be a little bit shorter than usual, but I kind of, I really needed to, to scramble for this one. But I think for a video idea that I literally thought of in the 15 seconds that I looked at that garment on the bed, it's not bad. <laughs> so hopefully I can get back to doing bigger builds once all the crazy conventions are over. Speaking upon conventions, you can see me at Megacon Orlando, February 1st through 4th. I'll have my booth and you can come see me and talk to me and I'll have prints and merch and stickers and hugs. Also, patreon.com slash rachelmaxi, $5 a month. If you wanna head over there, I made a video about my 2024 plans as far as cosplays and projects and big builds. <sighs> I love you, whether you're new or old to this channel, if you're new here and you feel like sticking around, feel free to subscribe. I upload every other Friday. And we have fun here. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. I was intellectually, uh... oh my God, my brain just shut down. Superior. I am not joking when I, when I tell you, I could not just think of the word superior. I, I initially, I, I, what the fuck? I just had a stroke. Bah. I wanna know but these strangers like me. There's a mother on the dance floor. Damn you, Saltburn. To solve my problem of, hold on, I'll spit my mouth.